What up, Soul Fam? How's everybody doing? Wow, the sky looks so crazy over there. We're supposed to get some sort of snowstorm within the next day or so. But hey, I like storms. That's weird, right? I like storms. Even though they can wreak havoc on your home, you can lose power, you can lose heat, people on the road. It could create dangerous situations for people, but ultimately, <laughs> 11, 23, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Moving forward, um, ultimately, I, I just like a storm. I like the excitement of a bad storm. I don't know why. I lived in Florida, I think it was like in 2004, five, could have even been 2003. They had those three, a hawk. I'm gonna get to the hawk in a second. I just seen a hawk. Um, I forget, there was, a, there was a hurricane, three of them back to back in um, South Florida, I think it was. They were wicked bad, like wicked bad, all three of them. That's one of the reasons why I moved back north because the third one actually, um, I lost my apartment, I lost my job, and I was in shelter. They put me in a hotel, but then the roof of the hotel blew off, so we all got separated. I got separated from my mom. She had to go somewhere else. I had to go somewhere else with my kids. And I lost connection because, you know, back then, I don't even think I had a cell phone back then. If I did, it was like the minutes and it was just fucked up. You know, you can only use your minutes after a certain time or you got charged a lot of money. I just know that I, I may have had a Motorola, but I don't really remember. But anyways, you couldn't even contact anybody if you wanted to because... The phone lines weren't working, nothing was working. You couldn't contact anybody because you didn't know where anybody was. Everything was all fucked up and destroyed. And I remember standing in the doorway of the hotel with the door open. My mom pulled my two children to the end of the bed and the, the alarm was just blaring. You know, those emergency alarms just blaring, you know, for everybody to seek shelter. You know, it's really crazy. You had the ones going off in the hotel, ones going off outside then you could hear all the other hotels alarms going off it was actually pretty fucking scary but I after about 30 40 minutes maybe even an hour I was just like how long can you actually stay scared for you know I've already went through the fear it's like okay now what and I just opened the door and I was like now what you know I don't feel scared anymore everything is fucked up everything's destroyed you know, there's no power, no job. I'm out of my house. What? I open the door, you see those newspaper stands flying. You see palm tree pieces flying, spitting. You see garbage cans flying. You saw everything flying. Cars were even moved. You could see cars being pushed by the wind, things ramming into cars, just random shit flying around. And I just stood there and there was something. I felt this energy and it was a feeling I've never felt before. I felt like I was outside of my body. And as I was outside of my body, I remember looking around at all the people that were in fear, praying. I saw my mom praying, praying hard. She was scared and she stayed praying. Even when I wasn't scared anymore, she was still praying. And she, I seen my children were praying. I saw that they were scared because she was scared and they don't know what the hell's going on so now they're scared and I'm just like wow everybody's so scared it was just the weirdest feeling to be outside of my body and not feel anything and just see everything and what was happening and it just really felt like a cleansing it felt like it, it felt like whatever came through it, it was a cleansing of some sort and I wasn't scared anymore and then it's like I came back into my body and you hear the wind whistling and the alarms were blaring and I'm like, I'm not scared anymore. And then soon after that, the winds died down and then it just stopped. It was weird and it just rained, it rained. It was still windy, but not, not like hurricane wind. It was just like 
regular Florida wind. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't even know why I started telling you guys that. Oh, storms, because of the snow snowstorm coming in. Boy, I got all caught up in my story and was all like zenned out for a minute and forgot what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> but yeah, there's some huge snowstorm coming and it's supposed to have a bunch of feet of snow. And I'm like, yes, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it because look at it. I'm not even in a jacket. It is mid-January, 43 degrees, no snow. It's just wet and muddy outside and gloomy I mean if it's gonna be like this it might as well snow fuck it you know if there's not gonna be I mean there is kind of some sunshine today but it's kind of hazy gloomy too actually today would be considered a good day <laughs> to the weatherman eh, probably to mo most northerners I guess because it's not really cold and bitter I mean again I'm not even wearing a sweat jacket sweat shirt but yeah, today's been a weird day, energetically weird. Um, so I was sitting in the living room this morning and I hear boom, like somebody threw a rock at our window. I literally thought somebody threw a rock at our window. And I looked at my husband, I was like, what the fuck, what was that? So I get up real slow and I'm like stalking it out just to see if there's any cars going by, zooming away or something crazy or some bastard ass kids playing jokes. But I'm like, you know, we live in the country. Who would even do that? I get up closer and I see a whole shitload of feathers and I'm like, hmm, maybe a bird hit the window. I was like, poor bird. And I go to the other window and there it is this hawk the size of a blue jay so it wasn't even really a big hawk maybe it was a baby hawk or a, a, a young hawk and he turned his head all the way around and he looked at me like what and I see the blue jay like trying to get away but also so injured that even if he got away he was going to die anyways my heart broke because they're both my spirit animals and I'm like, oh my God, I feel shattered right now. My husband's like, you want me to go outside and make the hawk go away? I'm like, no. I said, the Blue Jays are already so messed up right now. This is the circle of life. You know, they hunt and they eat birds. Let them, you know, I don't want the Blue Jay to die for no reason. I mean, if he shooed the hawk away, the Blue Jay would have been killed for like no reason. So I said, no. Just let the hawk eat him because at this point he's already so damaged that if you don't let the hawk eat him he's just gonna be a, a bird that was killed murdered so let the let the predator eat the predator that's basically what they are they're both predator birds but it broke my heart because I feel like I had something to do with this I feed the Blue Jays peanuts I take handfuls of peanuts and I throw them out in the yard for the Blue Jays. So I feed the Blue Jays and I feed the squirrels. There's no squirrels out right now because they're hibernating. So I continue to feed the Blue Jays and they come by the flock loads more than at the other house. The other house I had maybe like four, six, something like that because they travel in pairs. They're mates for life. So they always come with their mate. So maybe I had six the most. At this house, they come in like flocks of blue jays and they all make their little blue jay noise and it's like they're all you know letting me know that they're there diving down grabbing peanuts pecking the shell of the peanut and if I don't feed them at the time I normally do they'll all fly to the oak tree and they'll sit in the tree and they'll yell and yell and yell and yell until I feed them peanuts and yesterday I noticed one sounded like a hawk now they are mimicking birds. They're jay, blue jays. They're jays. They mimic. They're mimicking birds. They mimic hawks to alert their flock and other birds that um, there's a predator nearby. So yesterday I was like, oh snap, a hawk is around. So I look out the window and I see the blue jays sitting on, you know, perched on the tree, just one. And I'm like, oh, you little shit. You're pretending you're a hawk. And 
and then I threw some peanuts out. And today, a hawk really does come and snatches up a blue jay. I feel so bad because I hope I'm not the reason why the hawk came around and was like, oh look, lunch. Like this is where you can find easy lunch. This stupid human feeds these birds and we get lunch or breakfast because it was this morning and I feel so bad. But the bird, he, ugh, and I watched him eat the blue jay. I think it traumatized myself. It was like, if I'm the reason this happened, I need to watch this because this is the result. I don't know. And then I was just telling myself it, it's the circle of life and they do this. And then I was like, all like, wow, this is what they do. Then my husband goes outside and the damn hawk picks the blue jay up and flies. They're literally the same size. It was not even a big hawk. Poor bird. I just feel so bad. But then I was like, okay, what is this telling me symbolically? Like, what message does, does this have for me? And guys, I can't figure it out. I think I can sort of figure it out. But like, I even tried looking up omens. I don't think it's anything bad. I do feel like there's something significant going to change in my life. Maybe I'm go I'm it's proof that I'm entering a new phase in my life. And I'm the blue jay spirit is done and that's how he sacrificed himself to the hawk to my higher self. I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If any of you guys know anything about birds like um like symbolic meanings or the omens or if any of you guys have like native information or ancient information i mean i i briefly read something you know uh, some native stuff natives didn't really like blue jays <laughs> so that didn't resonate with me um they called them thieves and they were like bad birds for them i have this thing with blue jays for a very very long time so I, I feel like nah I, that didn't resonate with me then I started to read something that the druids were talking about and then I really couldn't find anything else so if you guys know anything without having to look on the web like you just have this knowing or this feeling I'd appreciate your feedback all right guys I gotta go feed my dad love you